FIFI Fofum, who is it? It's me, whether you want it or not. I'm back here with another video, and I wanted to update you guys quickly on the 57 inch Neo G9 as when I reviewed it, I considered it to be one of the best monitors on the market. But the question is, has my mind changed since owning it for quite some time? And I will tell you right off the bat, not really, no. I do think still that this monitor is very good in a lot of ways, but as you read in the title, yes, I did end up returning it and here's why. Now there's a number of reasons, but let's start off with the elephant in the room. And yes, that is the matte finish. Honestly, guys, I I'm sorry, I tried. I really tried and to be honest with you, if there weren't a bunch of, and this is gonna be another reason, but if there weren't a bunch of really excellent monitors coming out very soon, I might have actually mained this monitor because despite the fact that it does have a matte finish, which is hideous and honestly destroys the clarity and contrast environmentcy of the display to a degree that just was so unnecessary. Who asked for this? But despite that, guys, everything else about the monitor I did really, really like. But yeah, living with a matte finish every single day, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have a hard time doing it. I'm sure a lot of you guys are kinda in the same boat. It takes a long time to adjust, cause let's be honest, it sucks. Uh, but the other reason is, as I mentioned, there's a ton of displays coming out here with glossy quantum dot OLED panels that are gonna be 240 Hertz 4K in a variety of different you know, shapes and size, well, not sizes, they're all gonna be 32 inches, but you get the point. There's gonna be curved, there's gonna be flat, there's probably gonna be some brighter than others. There's gonna be a lot of options and they're all gonna be really good. So I just, I was looking at it and I'm like, you know, $2,500 for this monitor, which by the way, also here's another reason, did have a few issues. Uh, let, let's just get into it now. There was some clicking on the top left of the monitor that started happening, which to me was a bit of a red flag. I, I do worry that long-term that could be something that causes problems. And then on top of that, now sound the alarms guys, because I did find a small patch on the monitor on the left side of the monitor that did have some scan lines. Really strange because in the past, the issue has been present on the entire screen for Samsung. This time it was just a small patch on the left side and only when you would like highlight over certain stuff. It was like certain colors. So it obviously it was something that I didn't see very often at all, but again, another quality control issue coming from Samsung. So a couple of quality control problems, a $2,500 price point, a matte finish, and with all of that in the back of my mind and knowing how much I spent on this and that I'm definitely going to be replacing it with a glossy 4K 240 Hertz quantum dot OLED. It's just, I was sitting there and I'm like, I know I'm gonna replace this. It's really hard for me to justify spending $2,500, actually over $2,600 after tax on a monitor like this, if it's not basically perfect, if it has a few issues, I don't know if I can justify that. So because of those reasons, guys, I chose to return it. If you're in the same boat, hopefully now this video, you know, if you're within your return window and you're feeling the same way, you're having some issues or something like that, or you can't get over the matte finish. Hey, it's an expensive monitor. Don't feel like you're pressured into keeping something if it's not working for you. And despite the fact that it was really, really great, I just know in my heart of hearts that I'm gonna end up getting that quantum dot OLED 4K glossy monitor. And so why hang on to something that I felt like wasn't perfect? Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10 bit HDR video through its ultra thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even and supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.